everyone, welcome to Jay's Hilltop Garage. So tonight, on Jay's Hilltop Garage Epic Night videos, I'm gonna ring to it. Anyway, um, yeah, so I made a, another attachment, this time for a garden tractor. You can use it on a, for a riding mower too, um, but I'm just using a garden tractor right now because my mower has a bad battery. I'm getting it replaced very soon. But alright, so the main topic today is, well tonight, <clears throat> is the homemade, I'm going to go ahead and say rake attachment. Um, the title should say rake attachment. If not, I found out what it really should be called. But I'm just going to say rake attachment. That's what Paul thinks it looks like. And I know my farm equipment pretty good. Not a whole lot. Certain things I don't know. I mean, I'll be honest. But, you know, some of it I can recognize. And, I mean, it looks like a rake to me. So we're going to call it a rake. So this is how to make your homemade rake to pull behind your garden tractor for doing stuff in your yard, your garden, such as weeding. And if you have a gravel runway, or driveway, should I say, uh, make it easier for you. So, after the intro, we're going to get into this on Jay's Hilltop Garage Epic Night Videos. Let's get into it. Alrighty, everyone. So here's the start of the entire project. Now, this is actually how you make the rake attachments. Well, the rake prongs themselves. And I know what you're wondering, you know, what is this thing? Well, actually, this is an old coat rack. Uh, well, I'm, I think it's a coat rack. Um, it look, I believe that's what Mom said it was. I don't remember, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure it's a coat rack, hat rack sort of thing. But, um, here's what I did. And then I'm going to show this to you. I used my Hitachi angle grinder. And I cut it at an angle such as this. I mean, it might be a little different angle. You know, you'll have to kind of... It's not really something you play around with, you know, it's pretty easy. But this is the angle grinder I used, for anyone who's wondering. Um, I'm going to do a review on this and another Hitachi product, but um, let's concentrate on this. Alright, so this is what your end result is going to be after you do that. You're going to cut those off individually. The best thing you can do is kind of hold on to one and cut into it. Now, this is, gonna, like I said, this is going to be your final product before you make one more cut, and you're done. The last cut you make is down here at the bottom to cut this piece off. Um, so what you're going to do for that, you have it set up, usually like this, and you know, hold it with one hand. And then you take your angle grinder, and you set it so it's straight, but laying flat, uh, let me raise this up a little bit, on the guard. And you just hold it pretty much level and go into it. Now, like I said, you got to hold this up straight. So, you know, you get the general idea. So, that's how you do that. Now, there was a little bit of an angle when I was cutting it after I got the first mark on it when I was first cutting. So, you do that. And as you cut up that, you're going to be left with these three pieces. Now, actually, this is just one. I'm sure you noticed. I didn't set all of them out, mainly because I used most of them. But I think I used two of these. So, for anyone who's wondering. So, you go from having an entire piece, piece smaller, into a lot of different pieces. So, this is what it's going to look like. And I'll go over those smaller pieces in a minute. That's exactly what you're going to be left with. You can go from that to that into that. Now, to give you a little better size comparison... That is what I'm left with. Now, these little discs, they're more of a scrap metal sort of thing, but um, who knows, I may find a use for them. And actually, you might be able to make a little attachment of these, like, maybe a little disc cutter sort of thing. But that's for a later video if I do decide to make one, or, you know, why don't you all try making one? Might work. And then this is what you should be left when you're all done. Now, if you can see, I cut that, you, know, you get a general idea what the angle's going to be like. You do that. And this is the part you want. This piece right here. Now, I did straighten the rounded part off for the two end ones. Uh, I do apologize for the noise of the background. But, um, this is what you're going to be left with. And that is what's going to make you this implement. So, without further ado, I'm going to do a reveal of the implement. Now, I have, um, I've used this. And actually, I did have a weight system on it. I'm going to show that to y'all in another video. So there will be another video out probably tomorrow evening. 
um, on me using this and uh, I'll show you how I use the weight system and I might even give you some measurements so now most of the, now actually this entire thing is built from scrap metal so I mean this is kind of one of the things you do it if you have nothing else better to do and you got scrap metal laying around but you know this is just what I did for myself and you know maybe you can modify and make it a little bit different than mine and just see if you, how you like it alright so without further ado let's get into the attachment after it's finished you ready? Okay, so this is the final product of all that hard work. So, these here went from that to that into that. And that piece right there is what you're going to want. And this is what it's going to look like in the end. And these are the ones I said I had to bend to get them in the tube. Now, I'm sure some of y'all are wondering, you know, wow, you did a good, good job on the, uh, the framework. Truth be known, this is not actually not my work. Um, like I said, this is built out of entire scrap metal. And I'm sure you all wonder, okay, we're, you know, give me an idea where you got something like this. Uh, actually, we have a Coleman 196cc go-kart, and this is actually the framework on the seat. So, this is what I used, because we took the seat out of it. And, inside the tubing is where I welded this, and the rest of them, well, they're welded underneath. Now, this chain here I just had laying around. And it has a little hook on the end. Now, you're probably not going to have a hook on the end. I just did that because, you know, I didn't have a chain without the hook. And it actually works out pretty nice. And then just an old S-hook. Then the tongue um, is one by one by, I believe, it's quarter inch. You know, you know, that's the thickness I used only because, like I said, it's scrap metal. And actually, this used to be a trailer tongue to a garden trailer. Um, but I originally cut the end off of it because I needed the circle part to used for another attachment I made up and then I'm drilling a hole in this because I got better drill bits now so I can use it again and I welded that to this one by one by I believe it's quarter like I said I'm not 100% sure and then this tube here is actually an old four wheeler frame I had an old four wheeler frame laying around I cut these pieces off of it and I used those to keep this whole mechanism from wiggling side to side too much and running into the tires now once it's lowered it will wiggle side to side more because once it's lower, actually I'm going to show it to you. When it's lowered, those actually move a little bit. Now I'm going to show you this actually before I lower it. Just, you know, if y'all build one exactly like mine or made a little different, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all something to expect. It is going to lean. But unless you get to the point where it's leaning like this, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, it's probably going to lean at the worst like that. But, you know, as long as it does the job it's supposed to do, I'm happy with it. So, we're going to come up here, and we're going to unhook this. Lower that down. And see, then what I'll do when I'm using this, I'll unhook that. And then I'll just wrap this chain around like that. And it keeps everything the way I want it. And see, this is what I'm saying. Now there's, well, let me see if I can get the camera in here to show you. There is a bit of a gap between these two now. Um, now, these two pipes aren't the same. Like I said, it's scrap metal, so it's not perfect. If I wanted to make a better one, I probably could have. But like I said, you know, just some. I had some free time, and I had the scrap metal to do it, so I figured why not go ahead and do it. But, um, yeah, that's how everything works. Um, like I said, you have the hook on the chain. Now, y'all, like I said, y'all probably ain't going to have a chain with a hook on it. If you do, then actually, in a way, it might be better. Um, you know, like I said, it doesn't make much of a difference, really. Let me see if I can get this thing turned around right. But then you just pull it back up. Put your hook in. Now, actually, this is where my gas tank used to be. This is where the ga gas cap came out. Eventually, the gas tank's going back in this. So, it's going to be a little different. But, yeah, let's just concentrate on the seat. This is what mine is resting like right now. This is probably what it's going to look like when you're driving. 
Well, I mean, it's, nothing's happened bad when I'm hauling it or anything. It's been staying on there fine. I mean, if y'all may, y'all may figure out a little different system so it's a little better. Now, it's not. I'll get back a little further so you can see the difference. It's not as wide as the garden tractor. Uh, mainly because, like I said, it's scrap metal. I didn't have everything I needed. And it's just kind of one of them ideas that popped in my head. Actually, I was going to make a different attachment out of this, but this is what came out. So, this is what you're going to end up with. Um, when you take something like a hat rack, cut it down, and assemble it to some tubing, and hook a chain up so you can hook it up somewhere, and eventually I'm probably going to put like a little hook up here. May all well to hook up on the frame somewhere. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like in the end. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Um, if you do, make sure you hit the little notification bell button located next to the subscribe button. So this way you get notified every time I have a new video. Um, I post usually once a week. I have been getting a little behind schedule. Um, truth be known, I have been kind of a little bit busy lately and having a whole lot of stuff to do. So I want to get this out there. So this will probably be the second video for this week. But yeah, I'm just trying to make up a little bit for the lost time. But yeah, usually, um, especially when i got a lot of stuff going on, I'll have... Uh, one video every week, if not two videos a week. So, yeah, that's what y'all can expect. Uh, please leave a like. So, yeah, the next video is going to be probably about two, three minutes, just so y'all know, so you don't look for a really long video. And that's just going to be me using it, and I'm going to... I will go... I might talk a little bit about some things with it. And I'll show you how I get this thing weighed down the way I want it. So, yeah, that's all for this video. Um, thanks again for watching. And hopefully, if you subscribe, you'll come back and keep watching. All right. See y'all later. One more thing before I go. Um, one thing I want to tell everyone who's watching. And I'm going to do this to kind of give you a little bit of a boost on how to make things yourself. And that is, um, uh, as far as I know, no one else has said something like this. I mean, they probably have, but I'm saying this out of my own words. No matter how old you are, you know, you can be 10 years old. could be a little younger, even. You could be... 60 years old or older. But, I'm sure a lot of you know, and if you're a young kid who doesn't know, I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can always be creative. You just got to think. And sometimes you don't even have to. So, that's all for today's video again. See you all later, and hope you enjoy.